Yo, J Biz, you won the giveaway from last week. Congrats, comic fam. We're talking about some hot comic books. What's good, comic fam? Another week, we're talking about the hottest comic books defining this generation of collectors. The record breakers with Gem from Gem Mint Collectibles. Hit the subscribe button. Slap the like button. Stay tuned to the end. We got a giveaway on deck. And Gem, hit him with number 10. That's right, guys. We're jumping into number 10 with some amazing Spider-Man. Silver Age goodness. It's not a stranger to this list. We're talking amazing Spider-Man 14, the first appearance of the Green Goblin. And we got some volatility, comic fam. These numbers can't keep up with you buying the damn book. A 4.5 could have been secured back in May for $3,600. It's up 60% selling for $5,760. And we also have a 6.0 that could have been secured for the same amount back in August for $3,600, going up 33% selling for less than the 4.5, going for $4,800. And we mentioned last week that a Spider-Man registry collection came up for sale and sold for some crazy prices for some high-grade books. A couple of these we didn't mention last week, so let's talk about the 9.6. A CGC 9.6 sold for $48,000. It's the highest sale since 2009's record-breaking $53,000 sale. And then we have a 9.8. Back in 2015, this sold for $54,970. It's up 282% with last week's sale of $200. $110,000. Now, Tom and I actually are going to compile a list of all of these registry Spider Man keys that sold and post a video on my channel. So make sure to come swing on by, subscribe so you don't miss that one. A 9.6 not exceeding its all time high yet, but a 9.8 exceeding 200K. What we're seeing is price correction. I suspect all of these great discrepancies to be temporary. This book is shooting up by the day. Next, at the list at number nine, we're talking Incredible Hulk issue number two, the second appearance of Bruce Banner, the Hulk, but the first appearance of the Green Hulk. You know, there used to be a time when Hulk 1 was king above all these Marvel blue chip keys. It's kind of dragging behind here, and we're not even talking about issue 1. We're talking about the first appearance of the green skin Hulk, and we're talking about a CGC 1.5. This book sold for $1,110 back in August. It's up 69%, now selling for $1,872. Then we got a 6.0, a book that sold for $4,151 back in May, up 57%, now selling for $6,500. At the debut of Hulk, he would only find six issues in his own title before they took him off and put him into Tales to Astonish. And that would last until issue 102. So let's take a look at some of the other single-digit Hulk issues and where they're going because they be spiking as well. Hulk issue 3, a 5.0, could have been secured for $1,395 back in June. That's up 115% selling for 3 k Hulk 4, a 5.0, could have been secured for 900 dollars June. That's up 33% selling for $1,200. Hulk 5, 6.0, could have been secured for $1,020 in 2019. That's up 62% selling for $1,650. And then last but not least, Hulk number 6, a 6.0, seeing a slight increase with a $1,500 sale, the last record being for $1,440 set back in June. Man, that's a lot of whole key issues to talk about. Sticking with the Marvel theme and the Avengers theme, we're going to move to number eight on the list, which is Tales of Suspense, issue 57, the first appearance of Hawkeye. We're talking the third appearance of Black Widow and a trailer for Hawkeye that dropped this week. This book is tough and high grade. That white cover is prone to Nick's creases and color rub. And we're talking a 5.5 going for 1440 back in April, up 4%, selling for 1500 A 9.2 back in September could have been secured for 7977 That's up 43% this week, selling for 11400 only to be outdone by the CGC 9.4, a book that sold for $8,000 back in 2019, up now 110%, more than doubling with this all-new record-breaking sale of $16,800. The community needs to download Key Collector Comics, the best comic app in existence, and utilize Kotom 101 to unlock a free two-week subscription and support what we do. You've heard me talk about this before, and I'm not stopping anytime soon because, comic fam, I utilize this app every single day. 
whether it's to categorize my collection, to keep track of pricing, to be introduced to new comics. There's a wealth of knowledge on there that's only going to help your comic collecting, your reading, and your speculation and investing. Next on the list, at number seven, we're talking the first appearance of Craven the Hunter. We're talking about Amazing Spider-Man issue 15. Not only do we get Craven, which we know a movie is in development with lead Aaron Taylor Johnson slated to play Craven. That's kind of weird, but okay. But it's also the second appearance of Chameleon and the first mention of Mary Jane. We're talking a CGC 1.0, which sold for $225 back in 2018. It's up 202% selling for $680. The 2.5 could have been secured for 900 back in May. That's up 10% selling for $990 this week. Then we got the 6.0 back in August. Could have been secured for $3,000. That's up 44% selling for $4,320. So we know Craven is coming. We're just assuming that Galactus is coming. Number six on the list, Fantastic 449. The first full appearance of Galactus. The second appearance of Silver Surfer. This book has been on fire along with issue 48 and 50 has been benefiting as well because we know we got to see a true Galactus on screen one day. As inventory starts to dry out for the mid to high grade copies, the lower grades are starting to creep up. And that's exactly what we're seeing this past week. The 1.5 back in May could have been secured for $256. That's up an immense 252%. Shout out the black suit now selling for $900. A 2.5 sold for $800 back in April, and it's up 25%, just a dollar short of $1,000. That's right, and then we're looking at an 8.5, much higher grade, much higher price. Back in May, going for $5,500, up 31%, now selling for $7,200. Comic fam, let me know what you think about this list in the comment section below. Do you own any of these? It's going to enter you to win a Shang-Chi Issue number one, Comic Tom exclusive. And at the list at number five, we're talking Fantastic Four. Issue number three, the first time we see the first Marvel family suit up in their iconic superhero suits. Not only that, it's the first appearance of Miracle Man, the first appearance of the Baxter Building, Fantastic Car, and the Fantastic Copter. We're probably going to see one of those things in a future MCU movie. A point five sold for $425 in December. It's up 141%, now selling for $1,026. A 2.0 sold for $655 back in January, and that's up 47%, less than the point five selling for $960. The prices can't keep up, comic fam. We've warned you. The 3.5 back in June was going for $1,947. That's up 28%. Now selling for $2,500 at the list at number four. We warned you that this was primed to happen. We're talking about Primer, issue number two, the first appearance of Grendel, Hunter Rose. We're talking a Netflix series that is on the way. Eight episodes slated. With an actor attached, we're talking one of the biggest independent, underrated comic books getting the spike that it deserved. Now, this book has hit our list three times, and I'm sure these prices are much higher than they were when we first mentioned it. The 80s independent nostalgia cycle is real, from big properties like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to lesser-known stuff like Yusagi Yojimbo, Bone, Rocketeer, Tank Girl, and of course, Primer. The CGC 8.0, which sold for $750 back in July, is up 7%, maintaining that price, selling for $800. A 9.0, which sold for $917 back in August, congratulations, passing the four-figure mark, up 30%, selling for $1,195. We also saw a high-grade copy, 90-day high sale, going for $1,000, and it was ungraded. Members are actively hunting for a book that's not just difficult to secure in high grade. It's difficult to secure at all. Now, moving on to number three on our list, we're talking about more ASM record breakers since last week. Price correction was coming. We warned you. And now we're talking Amazing Spider-Man 16, the first meeting of Spider-Man and the Daredevil. Time will tell if that detective in the interrogation room was in fact Matt Murdock. Was it Charlie Cox? Was it Ben Affleck? Time will tell, but until then, this book is breaking records. A CGC 7.5 sold for $1,273 back in April, and it's up 33%, now selling for $1,694. 
The 8.0 record was set back in September for $2,400, and it was not just outdone once, but surpassed twice this week. The first with a leading all-time high of $2,700. That's 13% up since that September record breaker, as well as a $2,662 sale. And then we have a CGC 9.2. This book sold for $2,868 back in 2011. 10 years later, up 59%, now selling for $4,560. Comic fam, we are an active enrollment for the October Mystery Mail. Call ComicTom101.com or the link is in the description to join the community. Support what we do. I announced what I thought would be our October exclusive. Venom number one, cover art done by Raph Grissetti, and had to take it down within an hour because Marvel pushed back the release date, so it's going to be slated for our November box. So I'm spoiling what you have in store for November. And I'll let you know, you're going to want to stick around because... November is going to be an absolute slaughter. I digress because October, we're still sending out Marvel goodness. We have Thor issue 18, cover art done by Ryan Stegman. We're bringing Thor one per box, Throg on the cover, going out to the comic fam. Join the community, support what we do, and Jem hit him with number two. And we're still talking Silver Age Spider-Man goodness with Amazing Spider-Man 13, the first appearance of Quentin Beck of Mysterio, who left Peter in quite the predicament after Far From Home, and we're going to see the ramifications of that in No Way Home. A CGC 6.0, which sold for $1,900 back in February, is up 45%, now selling for $2,750. The 8.0 could have been secured for $4,995 back in May, up 44%. Now selling for $7,200. The 8.5 going for $5,251 back in 2019 is up 49%. Now selling for $7,800. But Tom... The Spider-Man goodness doesn't stop here. Number one on the list, we're talking the granddaddy of them all. Amazing Fantasy 15, and we're seeing trickle down from that $3.6 million 9.6 sale. Comic fam, hit that like button. Slap that subscribe button. I need your support, damn it. If you don't do it, I'm going to know. And it makes me really sad. Keeps me up at night. I'm tearing up, comic fam. All right, at the list at number one, we're talking about the first appearance of Spider-Man in a comic book, Amazing Fantasy 15, a 1.8. Back in January, could have been secured for $16,800. It's up 67%, selling for $28,100 this week. Then we have a 4.0. It sold for $53,500 back in May. This sale just justifies that. It's only up 3%, but selling for $55,200, letting you know that this is what the book is worth right now. And what's this? We have more record breakers to support bonus comic books, if you would. We have a website that we don't typically report on, but they had a bunch of comic books that came for sale. We're talking Golden Auctions, and there was an Amazing Fantasy 15 and 8.5 that broke records. Prior sale was set in 2017 for $155,000, and that's up 355% selling for an all new high of 707,250 this week. And that's not all. That's right. We have Journey into Mystery 83, the first appearance of Thor, a CGC 9.4. Now, back in 2012, this book sold for $222,200. It's up 44%, now selling for $319,800. Avengers 1 came to market a 9.6. Prior record was set in 2011, selling for 250K. That's up 48%, selling for 369 grand this week. Tales of Suspense 39, a 7.0, the first appearance of Tony Stark. Iron Man could have been secured back in November for 20,400. That's up 135%, selling for 47,970. An X-Men 1 8.5 sold for $150,000 last week. This auction from a different auction house just justified that sale and set the new bar an 8% increase selling for $162,360. And last but not least, Batman number one, 8.0, back in April, selling for $1.2 million, up 22% for the first appearance of the Joker in a comic book with a new high price of $1.47 million. Let me know what you think about this list in the comment section below. It'll answer you to win this Shang-Chi number one. And as always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. 
enough said. We got two other videos for you to check out, the podcast, and make sure to catch up on the honorable mentions, the runners-up list, the single-price record breakers that didn't quite sell enough to make our hot 10, but records that you need to know nonetheless. Have a great week.